What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DesignSmith. Today I'm going to show you what I believe is the best workspace layout for a designer in Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started, if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing to support the channel. All right, so the very first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have a document either open or you've created a new document. This is the only way that you can actually see your workspace. Okay, so starting up here at the top, we have what's called control under window. So this is gonna give you at a glance properties of everything that you have on your canvas. So if we have something like a black box right here, this is gonna show us the fill, the stroke, the stroke weight. It also has your align panel and all of your properties for sizing and positioning. It's important to develop some quick muscle memory in this top section right here called control. And also I make sure that application frame is always checked. This is what it looks like when it's unchecked. You can't click and move the program around and it puts your document within these little frames that you can move around the desktop. But switching back over to application frame gives it a little bit more of a full screen experience. And if I need to, I can pick up and move the program wherever I want. And even though sometimes it can be a little bit annoying, I make sure that the contextual taskbar is checked. Depending on what you're working on, some of the things that you have access to can be very helpful. And then for the toolbars, I make sure that advanced is checked. You can go with basic, but as you can see, it gives you a lot less options. Okay, so that takes care of the top and the left side of our workspace. Now let's go over here to the right side. So over the years, I've developed a personal preference as to how I want everything laid out in Illustrator. And the very first thing up here is a line at the top. I like to have this by itself. And the reason for that is because there's this really weird glitch that's been happening for the past couple of years, where if you select two different objects, the distribute spacing here can be grayed out if it's mixed in with another panel group. So I just like to have a line all by itself. And then moving down here to the next group, I like to have transform, Pathfinder and Gradient all within the same panel group. I know that a lot of people would say that because Gradient is a coloring group that it should be mixed in with the rest of the swatches. However, the reason why I don't put it down there is because I already have swatches, brushes, symbols, and stroke down here in this group and I just want to make sure that Gradient is always visible no matter where I am. All right, so the third group down is properties, layers, and artboards. I like to have properties available always at a glance, just in case I need to go in there and tweak anything. Layers and artboards for me go together very well. So I can go in and make sure that I always have access to my layers, and then I also like to group my artboards right next to my layers. These three have a little bit more in common with each other in that they're pretty much all about organization. All right, so the next one down, I've got my swatches, brushes, symbols, and stroke. In this group, I definitely use swatches and stroke the most often, but I like to have brushes and symbols here just in case I decide to do anything with them. And for the last panel group down here, this is all about type. So we've got character, paragraph, and open type. Now it's super rare that I go into open type, but I use character and paragraph the most common. For the character panel, you have a lot of options for how your text on the page actually looks. And the paragraph panel gives you a lot of options for how to structure that type. And if you're not doing this, I highly recommend clicking on the panel and clicking on show options instead of hide options. Each panel will give you a lot more options and it gives you a lot more control over what's on your artboards. Now, obviously all of this is subjective, but this is the way that I like to have my workspace set up in Illustrator. But remember that you can take panels out, you can move them around, and remember that you can drop one panel into another to create a group, and then you can move that group back over here into this area. That's one thing that I love about Adobe software is that it's very flexible in terms of where you want your panels to go. So just play around with it and figure out what setup works best for you. And when you finally got it nailed down exactly the way you want to, go up here to Window, Workspace, and New Workspace. And I'll just type in Jason. And no matter what happens, if I ever end up changing my workspace to something else, I can always go back up here to Window, Workspace, and JSON, and it resets everything to the way I want it. All right, well, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.